Hey, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my flawless drugstore foundation routine for red rosacea face. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite things that I use from the drugstore to cover up all of this redness. And I'm very inflamed right now and very um, broke out. So I thought, why not do another one? <laughs> Uh, but this time make a drugstore. So here we go using my favorite drugstore foundation L'Oreal infallible 24-hour fresh wear This foundation is amazing and it really does the job I've already cleaned my face and moisturized the moisturize I use was my Clinique moisture surge um, I didn't show it because it's not drugstore. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and go ahead and start um buffing this out and blending up as you can see it does have a very very nice coverage and it's um, pretty full coverage I think and um, it has a nice fresh scent but it's not overpowering because I don't like um, I don't like foundations that have a lot of like a lot of um, scent and this one just has the littlest tinge of scent and it smells really good so if you're you know afraid to try it because you've heard it has a scent or something it yeah it doesn't I mean it does but you know it's probably not what you think get all of this do you see that how good that is right there like it's so good I know it's just perfect <laughs> such a good color but I don't know what it is it just says 411 <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not sure of the color but it will be linked down below I'll find it and link it Can you believe how nice that covered my neck? Like, I think it's so good. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Full Wear. This is Eggshell 325. No, I still do. I still make this. It's not as drastic as it used to be, but the whole one here and one here, no. I want a full coverage. <laughs> I mean, that's what concealer is for, right? That's just me, but that's just me, and that's how it's got to be. That's just me, and that's how it's got to be. Queen pin and black. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put um, some down my nose, forehead, per usual, chin. You know the drill. Start blending it out. up around my eye bring it down just like that I do this side I try to get on the top of my nose on the sides of my nose <laughs> like to hit both and then my chin this is my L'Oreal infallible a good tip for you eyeliner creases on you make sure to set all of this i'm just gonna back and forth too okay now i also like to set wherever i highlighted with this powder so usually around my mouth definitely my nose I don't know about you, but my T-zone gets very oily. And my forehead. I have found a new favorite bronzer. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Dolce De Leche. It's such a pretty color. Very natural on me, and I absolutely adore it. I was such a fan the first time. 
I tried this. And I was like, ooh, it's so pretty. It blends so nice and so seamless. It's such a pretty color. Mm. Under here and connect it right here. Bring it down. <sighs> Such a pretty bronzer. And I'm just gonna whoop, go down that side and go down this side. Just like that. <sighs> Ever so softly. I'll put it into this color. And go down the center. And then just lightly clean that up as much. Just like that. Blush 3 by Profusion. And I'm going to use Bliss, Punch, and Fantasy. All three of those. Put it at the high point. All the way up. There we go. I like to have... I like to mix the... You know, the bronzer with the blush. And it gives such a pretty gradient effect and it really makes you look like you have a chiseled cheek you know you might want to clean this up if you're doing it but I kind of like this look full-blown cheek and I'm gonna keep it okay so that is my flawless drugstore foundation routine and how I cover my rosacea and oh I almost forgot at our face. I think you would consider the drugstore, but that's my Morphe Mini Continuous Mist Setting Spray. It really does help the face and it has a beautiful scent. That's it. That's what I've been doing lately and I haven't been highlighting. I have not added any highlighter to my nose, chin, anywhere and I'm really liking that look right now and yeah. So it does look like I'm highlighted because, you know, I always highlight the center of my face with concealer, but an actual highlight, no, nothing. And I'm really digging the look. If you like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.